smack yourself, you drop a stick, you get lost, start over. This martial arts class, you'll discover how to fight with collie sticks for beginners. Grab a pair of collie sticks, Arnis, Eskrima, any style of short martial arts fighting sticks. Follow me. Throw the stick in each hand. You need a little bit of the stick to come out of the bottom as you're learning how to fight with collie sticks for beginners. You're gonna learn big motions first. You're gonna learn these Sinawali patterns, but eventually you're gonna learn how to use this part here to jab, to strike, right? How to lock somebody, hold them in while you hit them with the other stick, and then eventually how to peel that other stick or that knife right out of their hand using that part. So get into a good habit from the beginning. A little bit of room right there coming out of the bottom. Choke up a little bit. Your stomach up and in, and your feet directly into your body. You're gonna bring your sticks back and drop them. Just back and forth. This is a warm up specifically for this workout. The goal is to keep your body safe from injury during the workouts. When you learn how to fight with collie sticks for beginners, you need to learn how to keep your body safe from injury from some of these complex moves. Proper warm up is one of them. This gets the blood flowing, stomach up and in, keep your stomach tight. Go faster and faster, lubricate the joints, start to build speed and power, and then split that motion, giving yourself more range of motion. Your arm starts to go back more, your elbow gets more straight, stomach tight, and let's move on. We've got this twirling motion. Now this twirling motion right here, is when I throw the stick down, my palm goes to the sky, I bring it from behind my back to the front again. Throw your stick down, put your palm facing the sky. Keep your hand closed around it. It's gonna open a little bit here, but the, the fingers don't come off. Keep the fingers on it. Bring it around. Bring this elbow in tight, close to the body, and that's gonna increase the speed of your twirling motion. Isolate this wrist, get that elbow in. Let it go through that full range of motion, twirling forward. Remember, you just threw it down, palm up, bring it around, keep the hand, uh, fingers closed. And then do this one, and then do this one. Do one, and then the other one. Twirling one at a time, and then both at the same time. And now, pull the sticks back, let them drop to the floor behind you. Palm still goes up, complete the turn. Put those together, forward, and then back. Forward, and back. Faster and faster. The more you do these workouts, the more you'll be able to do. It's all about putting in the time. Now, Take this stick, this right stick, put the right foot forward, and I want you to do that first strike. You're gonna bring it right in, think of hitting the clavicle through the cheek, striking right in the middle. And here's what's important. See how this is in front of my face? It's about as high as my head. That keeps me protected, as long as I stay behind my stick. Keep your hand out here. If you go too far, you're no longer protected. So you wanna fight from behind the stick. Bring this from here to here. That right foot's forward, that's that first strike, and you're gonna pop it back. Strike and bring it back. Strike and bring it back. Now strike and follow through. They're both the same strike. It's just where did you finish the strike? Finish it down here, finish it here, and bring it in. From here, bring it in, bring it in. We're gonna use this strike today when we get to Sinawali, which is a weaving pattern and a drill that's gonna make you much better when you start fighting with your collie sticks. Bring it here and back, and then do the same thing with that left one. Put the left foot forward, bring it through, bring it through, bring it through. Strike all the way through a couple times, get a feel for that, and then go back to this strike. We're doing this one today. Now, put the right foot forward, strike, and bring it over to the opposite shoulder. Think of a V, right? Down and up, down and up. I made a V, watch again, I'm just getting this out of the way. Down and up, and then backhand. Think of this backhand strike, backhand, 
backhand. Backhand and I bring it back. One, two. First angle, second angle. One, two, one. the left one make your V and you can leave the stick there or you can get it out of the way one two make sure you keep it directly in front of your body if you're fighting me I want you to have to get around my stick I don't want to make it too easy I bring it out here you don't even have to try very hard you're gonna split me open right one two do this one switch your feet to this one this is still part of your warm-up drill striking now if you have a bag or a stack of tires a pole or something do this most is striking on the back right foot's forward and then your left foot's forward Now you're ready for Sinawali. Sinawali means weaving. This is a weaving pattern. This is a drill to give you better hand speed, more control, it's timing distance, all the great things you need when you're learning how to fight with collie sticks for beginners. Start with the right stick on the right shoulder, the right foot forward. The left stick is gonna chamber. Chamber just means get ready. It's gonna be in a ready position, chambered into the ribs on the right side. See how my sticks are both on the same side of the body? Anytime you get lost when you're doing these drills, start from the chamber. Go back to the chamber. A lot of times when you go to the back of the chamber, I've seen you do this. You think you're in the chamber, but you're not. You've got one stick on one side, one stick on the other side. The golden rule of the chamber. Keep them both on the same side. Now, from here, right foot forward, there's that first strike. There's the V. You know how to do that. V. That frees up this guy to come out and do that. Backhand strike, backhand strike, and bring it back. Now my sticks are both on the same side again, but I'm not quite done because of the third strike here, which is that backhand strike with the right hand. Now I'm chambered on the other side. Remember the golden rule, both sticks, same side. So now I have to switch feet, left hand, left foot forward. There's the V, backhand, backhand, chamber. V, backhand, backhand, chamber. V, backhand, backhand, chamber. Now, I start to bring them closer together. That just means that as I'm bringing one back, the other one's coming out. This is what slow is smooth, smooth is fast is. Let's go back to the beginning chamber. We talk about that because it's really important. This is gonna get you there faster. You're gonna learn how to fight Collie sticks for beginners and get there so much faster. When you think about it this way, you have one motion. The second motion comes right after the first motion and then eventually comes as you're bringing the, this back after that first motion. First motion is this strike, right? So as this starts to get out of the way, that's when this one comes out. Strike, that comes out right there. Now, if you think of slow as smooth, smooth as fast, you break down each piece. One two, three, separately. Every step is separate. You go one, two, three. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Doesn't mean that your sticks are going faster. It means that the time between each motion, between one, two, and three, shortens, shortens, shortens. That smoothness increases the speed of the bigger thing, increases the speed of the Sinawali, of the drill. One, it starts coming out, starts coming out as the other one's coming back. This is what you're doing. Your stick comes out as the other one's coming back, and then that gets quicker. And as soon as you have that pattern down, that's when you will see your brain naturally will shorten the move between steps. Then you push yourself. Then you go faster until you get lost in the pattern, right? And then what do you do? You go back to the beginning. You get back to your chamber. And then you start over, slow it way down, allow yourself to naturally increase speed, slow as smooth, smooth as fast. Once you know that you've naturally increased it, you see it moving faster, that's when you push yourself, you make conscious decision. 
Put the intent in your brain. Go faster, go faster, go faster. And then all of a sudden you're lost again. Go back to the beginning. Once you've done that for a while and you feel smooth, put it on your target. Slowly, gradually allowing the time between the moves to shorten, the slowness to get out of the way because the smoothness takes over. And then push yourself. You smack yourself, you drop a stick, you get lost, start over. Please subscribe and leave me some comments and check out these other videos on what else you can do to get fighting with your collie sticks faster.